guys, Hubcap Man here, and I'm back with another Hubcap video. Today I'm going to give you some advice for when buying any Hubcaps and telling the value of each of them. I'll also be giving a quick description to some of these. Most of these you've seen already, but these are just pretty much as an example of when to buy a Hubcap and how to tell its value. First of all, whenever you look at a Hubcap like this, this is a 1967 Pontiac GTO. The only way to tell how this is quite expensive is to tell how heavy it is. Like this one weighs probably about five pounds. And um, also how to tell is if it's from a very, very nice car. Like if you look it up and you see it's off a GTO, which this is, that means you've got something. Also to notify if it has a spinner. And um, usually the value consists of how many of these there are. Like if there are two, not as much. If there are three, there's a lot. And if there's even four, like this 57 Rambler, then it's worth some money. This is a 57 Rambler. It's a 1957 Rambler Ambassador. This hubcap is extremely rare. Um, this one comes without the red on the R. Some of them have red, this one doesn't. And also to tell how the value will evaluate for your hubcap is to check and see if there's a brand that is discontinued or is extremely rare. Rambler is obviously gone and doesn't have any more to show its history, pretty much. This is almost a forgotten orphaned car company. The next one is to show if it even shows what type of vehicle. This goes off of an Impala SS. 63 to 64 Impala SS. You can tell this is worth some money here by the pitting where the little um, clear center cap is and how the SS is very, very basic looking instead of the more low or down stance. This one also has its own bolts in the back for securing it down. And there's also more bolts back here securing the centerpiece down so it won't come off and hit someone's car while going down the road. Next one to show is the wire wheels. You've seen this one before. This one does go off of a 1990 Cadillac DeVille. It's rear wheel drive and um, 15 inch. The wire hubcaps is extremely valuable and they were back in the 1980s. When, they, when automakers started using them in the 1950s, they were more commonly known to be stolen by any crooks or people that wanted to cash them in. And you can definitely see why. And Cadillac was one of the main targets back in the 80s. People wanted to get at least $60 a piece for them. This 1964 Pontiac also shows how rare this is because if it has even the label Pontiac Motor Division or Cadillac Motor Division or even Chevrolet Motor Division like that one up there, makes it even harder to find. And even if it has this little bullet tip at the top where it's kind of pointed, you can see in the center, that can also indicate something, or even if it has its own trim ring look, or even the turbine riveted spokes. This hubcap is worth, from hubcaps.com's evaluation, to about $125. This one on hubcaps.com is worth $175 a piece, and um, this one has five spinners, making this, well, five times as expensive. And also it's extremely rare because of this piece is one piece here. The three star in the center part is one piece. Screwed in by these five nuts back here. And it's quite heavy. This one's probably about eight pounds. This one's got Thunderbird three times around it. And that's probably what makes it so expensive. Also, since the Mustang is extremely popular, I have two Mustang hubcaps. This is from a 1964 Mustang. was also used on the 65s. Well, this one more looks like a 64. This one on hubcaps.com is worth $125, but probably not anymore because of the uh, eat up paint, how it's coming off, sort of. And you can see where it's been eat up. And also the color black is gone around the center somewhere. This whole piece has been screwed in here by these ru really, really rusty bolts back here. And this one is way more valuable. This is $150 by hubcap.com standards. It's a 1965 Ford Mustang. This is also worth money because it's a large hubcap. It's from a famous car. It's got a really huge spinner. The bigger the spinner, the bigger the price. And it's also got wires, very early wire wheel hubcap. 
And it's got 60 individual spokes. And it did even go off of the Galaxy. The next one is probably one of the most rarest and probably one from the, one of the most iconic cars here. This is a 1958 Edsel hubcap, I believe one off the Corsair. This is white, which means the accents on the car were white. This one doesn't necessarily have a spinner. It has more of like a detached opposite spinner where the spinner is normally, there's no window normally in the center, but there is. You can see I can fit my, the top of my fingers through it. And the, the badge is even better, like the big E for Edsel. This part is also screwed in to screw in this portion here. This piece here alone can be worth at least $60. This hubcap is worth $100 in pristine condition. Showing off the most expensive hubcap here is this. This is actually not a fake. There is some, some deal going on with corrosion on this one because it's been laying in the dirt for at least 30 to 40 years. And uh, this has been proven to be a 1956 Oldsmobile hubcap with this little three-prong spinner here. This is one piece screwed in on the back inside this little hole. And how to get it out, I don't really know. There's these little symbols, and also to tell by it's being an Oldsmobile, there are no cubes like the aftermarket. This is white. This is worth $300 in perfect condition. This is a 1957 or 1958 Dodge Royal Lancer. This also proves it's expensive, and this by being a smaller hubcap, and it was copied a lot by aftermarket hubcap brands like Delmet and J.C. Whitney. I've copied this, and even I believe Namsco has copyrighted this. Um, this is all one piece. It kind of looks like a missile projectile. It's got the Black Knight logo in the center which also symbolizes its value and rareness. The original black finish here has gone, and so has the chrome. But showing its true purity that this is an authentic Dodge hubcap. And every single one of these hubcaps are authentic. And um, that's how to choose and how to identify the value of certain hubcaps. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.